Hello everyone, this is Glenda and welcome back to Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial is for the Snowflake Dishcloth. This is pattern number 518. I made this pattern last year and brought it out and realized I never done the video to show you how to make it. So I am so sorry to all my subscribers for that. But I did get the video done in time for this year so you can make some of these wonderful snowflake dishcloths for your holiday craft shows, for holiday gift giving. It works up really quickly. It's made with only seven rounds so you can make several of these in one day. Now when I first made this and did the pattern, I made this with Premier Home Cotton Yarn. I was out of that so I chose the sugar and cream. I ran to the store, I got some of this. I kind of like this one a little bit better than the Premier. The white looked a little bit whiter. It had a little bit nicer feel to the cotton. So either or works extremely well. Any cotton yarn. Now the Premier is 85% cotton, 15% polyester, and this yarn here is 100% cotton. So this is pure 100% cotton. And again, this is a little bit brighter white. So you can use whatever cotton yarn you prefer. You're going to need one ball of the white cotton yarn and you're going to need a crochet hook size I9 or 5.5 millimeter. So grab your yarn, grab your hook, and let's begin this wonderful holiday project. I already attached my yarn to my hook and I just tie a double knot around my hook and create that loop. So to begin our project, we're going to start with the chain four. So yarn over the hook, pull it through that loop, that's your first chain. Yarn over the hook, pull it through, that's two yarn over, pull through, that's three, yarn over, pull through the loop, that's four. Now we're going to skip these first three chain, we're going to slip stitch into that fourth chain from the hook and form a ring. So insert your hook into that fourth chain, yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. So now we have our little chain four ring and we're going to be working our stitches right in the center of that ring. Now this piece of yarn here that's left over from starting, I'll hold that right around and work my stitches right over top of that and that weaves that in. So now we're going to start round one and we're going to start with a chain one we're going to work a single crochet into this ring and then chain two and we're going to do that six times. So let's begin. Insert your hook into the center of that ring, yarn over the hook, pull it back through the ring. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your first single crochet. We're going to chain two, one, two. Now we need to do that five more times. So insert your hook into the center of that ring and work a single crochet. Chain two, one, two. We need to do it four more times. Insert into the center of that ring and work a single crochet. You're going to chain two. Insert into that ring, work a single crochet, and chain two. So that is one, two, three, four, and then pull your stitches over to make room for those last couple stitches. So we need to do that two more times. Insert into that ring and work a single crochet. You're going to chain two. That's five. Insert into the center of that ring, work a single crochet, and chain two. One, two. So then go back and double count. I always count by my chain two spaces. It's easier to count. You have one, two, three, four, five, and six chain two spaces. So make sure you have the correct number. 
and then we're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of this beginning single crochet. Now this chain one does not act as a stitch that you started the round with. You want to go right up into the top of that single crochet and you're going to go right under those top two loops of that stitch and slip stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch and pull it through the loop on your hook. Round one is finished and I'll be right back to start round two. So now we're getting ready to start round two. Now round two is a little different. We're going to work, we're going to slip stitch into this chain two space and we're only going to be working in the chain two spaces. We're going to work a cluster stitch and a chain two and we're going to do that two times in each chain two space. So let's begin. You're going to insert your hook into that chain two space here, your first chain two space, and you're going to slip stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that space, and pull it through the loop on your hook. Now we're in the position to start our round. So to start round two, we're going to chain two, which counts as our first double crochet, but we're leaving that last loop on the hook. So it's half made, so we only chain two yarn over the hook, you're going to insert it into that same chain two space, yarn over the hook, pull it through, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. So your first cluster stitch is always different because we have to chain in order to get that first double crochet in there. So this one will be worked differently. So yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. That's your first cluster. You're going to chain two, and now we need to make another cluster stitch and a chain two all in the same chain two space. So yarn over the hook, you're going to insert into that same chain two space, yarn over the hook, pull it through that space, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. We're leaving this last loop here on the hook. So yarn over the hook, insert it back into that chain two space, yarn over the hook, pull it back through that space, you have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. So you made your second double crochet leaving that last loop on the hook. Now you have three loops on your hook and we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now this is the only time this will be different for this cluster is when you start your round. And then we're going to chain two. I'll show you one more time because this one will be a little different because we're not chaining. So to do your first cluster, we're going to yarn over, you're going to insert it into that next chain two space, you're skipping this stitch in between and we're only working in the chain two spaces. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through that space, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You're keeping that last loop on your hook and then you have the loop that's already on your hook. So you now have two loops on your hook. We need to do another double crochet leaving that last loop on the hook. So yarn over, insert into that chain two space, yarn over, pull back through that chain two space, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your second double crochet leaving that last loop on your hook. You have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You're going to chain two. And we're going to do that again. You need to do it twice in each chain two space. So yarn over, we're going to begin our cluster, insert into that same chain two space, yarn over, pull back through that space. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, leaving that last loop on the hook. Yarn over, insert back into that chain two space, yarn over, pull back through that chain two space. You now have four loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your double crochet, leaving that last loop on the hook. You have three loops on the hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook you're going to chain two. And we're going to do that 
in each chain two space around. So now I'm going to do it one more time, but I'm not going to walk you step by step. I'm just going to do it. So I'm going to make my first cluster. I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to work my double crochet, leaving that last loop on the hook. Yarn over, insert into that chain two space, working that double crochet, leaving that last loop on the hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. You're going to chain two. And we're going to do that one more time in that chain two space. Yarn over, insert into that chain two space, and work that double crochet, leaving that last loop on the hook. Yarn over, insert into that chain two space, work a double crochet, leaving that last loop on the hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. You're going to chain two. And that's the repeat. So go ahead and work one cluster, chain two, one cluster, chain two, in each chain two space around. I will meet you at the end of round two and show you how to join. So I'm over at the end of round two and this is what your work should look like. You should have a total of 12 clusters and 12 chain two spaces around and that's what it should look like. You should have a cluster, chain two, cluster with a chain two in between in each chain two space around. So now we're just going to go up and we're going to join with a slip stitch. Just go up right in the top. You'll see the two stitches are joined with one stitch on top. So just go right to the top of that stitch underneath those top two strands and slip stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook. I'll be right back and we'll get round three started. So now we're going to start round three and we're going to start round three by slip stitching into our first chain two space here. So insert your hook into that first chain two space, yarn over the hook, pull it through that space and pull it through the loop on your hook. We're going to begin with a chain five which counts as our first double crochet plus a chain two. So yarn over, pull through, that's one, two, three, four, and five. And what happens is you'll bend this and this first chain three counts as the first double crochet and then you have your chain two. Now we're going to work a double crochet into the same beginning chain two space. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same beginning chain two space, and work that double crochet. We're going to skip our next cluster stitch and we're going to work a double crochet, chain two, double crochet into this next chain two space. This starts the repeat. This is a very simple round for this round. We're going to yarn over, skip this cluster stitch, insert into that next chain two space and work a double crochet. You're going to chain two. Yarn over, insert into that same chain two space and work a double crochet. And you're going to skip this next cluster stitch. That's the end of the repeat. So basically for this round all we're going to do is be working in the chain two spaces. We're going to work one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet in each of those chain two spaces around. So let me show you. I'll do it two more times. Yarn over. We're going to skip that cluster stitch, insert into that next chain two space, and work your double crochet. And this is the start of the repeat. You're going to chain two, yarn over, insert into that same space, and work a double crochet. You're going to skip this cluster stitch, and that's the end of the repeat. So I'll show you just one more time. Yarn over, you're going to insert into that next chain two space. This is the start of the repeat. Work that double crochet. You're going to chain two, yarn over, and work a double crochet into that same chain two space. And then skip this next cluster. So go ahead and work one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet in each chain two space around 
and I will meet you at the end of round three and show you how to join. I'm over at the end of round three and this is what your work should look like. You should have a V stitch in each chain two space around. And now we're going to come up and we're going to join in the third chain of this beginning chain five. So count up one, two, three, insert your hook into the top of that third chain, slip stitch, yarn over, pull through that chain and pull through the loop on your hook. So now we're getting ready to start round four, which round four is a pretty easy round two. We're going to insert our hook into this beginning chain two space and we're going to slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that chain two space and through the loop on your hook. We're going to begin by chaining three. One, two, three. This beginning chain three counts as our first double crochet. Now we're going to work one double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet in this chain two space. So yarn over the hook, insert into that same beginning chain two space, and work a double crochet. You're going to chain two. One, two. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same beginning chain two space, and work a double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same beginning chain two space, and work a second double crochet. So you just made your first shell, which consists of that beginning chain three, which counts as the first double crochet, and then you have a double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, all in that beginning chain two space. So now you're going to start your repeat. Your repeat is going to be, you're going to work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in each chain two space of each V stitch around. So this is the repeat. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain two space of that next V stitch. So insert your hook and you're going to work a double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain two space, and work a double crochet. That's two. You're going to chain two. One, two. Yarn over the hook. You're going to insert into that same chain two space and work a double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain two space and work a double crochet and that's two and that's all there is to round four. So go ahead and work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in each chain two space around. I will meet you at the end of round four and show you how to join. I'm back. Now I laid a piece of fabric down to make it a little bit easier to see the dishcloth since I was working white on white. So I hope this helps. It does show up a little bit better. So we're now at the end of round four and we're just going to go up here and we're going to join with the slip stitch in the top of that beginning chain three. So count up one, two, three. Insert your hook into the top of that third chain yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. Round four is complete, and now we're going to start round five. So for round five, we're going to slip stitch across this stitch and into this chain two space. So let me zoom up just a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to insert our hook into this next double crochet and you're going to go under those top two strands, yarn over the hook, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. You just slip stitched in that stitch. Now you're going to insert your hook into that beginning chain two space, yarn over, pull through that chain two space, and pull through the loop on your hook. We just slip stitched into our chain two space, and now we're be ready to begin round five because I like to start in my chain two spaces. So we're going to go ahead and start with a chain three, which counts as our beginning double crochet. So yarn over the hook, 
pull through that chain, that's one. Yarn over, pull through, that's two. Yarn over, pull through, that's three. And that counts as our beginning double crochet. Now we're going to work one double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, all in this beginning chain two space. So yarn over, insert into that same beginning chain two space, and work a double crochet. We're going to chain two, one, two, yarn over, insert into that same chain two space, and work a double crochet. That's one. We need to do one more. Yarn over, insert into that chain two space, and work a double crochet. So we have our beginning shell made. The chain three counts as the first double crochet. We have one double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. This round we're going to work a little bit differently. We're going to chain one and then we're going to come down between our shell stitches, which this is our first shell and this is the second. We're going right in between these two stitches and these two stitches. So right in the middle we're going to slip stitch. So insert your hook right between the current shell and the next shell and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that space, and pull through the loop on your hook. You're going to chain one, and now we're going to start our repeat. So our repeat starts here. We're going to work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, all in this next chain two space of this next shell stitch. So yarn over, insert into that next chain two space, and work a double crochet. That's one. Yarn over, insert into that same chain two space, and work your second double crochet. You're going to chain two, one, two, we're going to work two more double crochet all in this same chain two space. So yarn over, insert into that same chain two space, and work a double crochet. That's one. Yarn over, insert into that same chain two space, and work your second double crochet. And there you have your shell stitch made, which consists of two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, all in that chain two space. Now you're going to chain one, you're going to look down and you're going to slip stitch between this current shell here and your next shell here. So insert right between those two shell stitches and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that space and pull through the loop on your hook. You're going to chain one and that is the end of the repeat. You're going to repeat that around. I'll show you one more time. We're going to work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, all in this next chain two space, and that starts the repeat again. Yarn over, insert into that chain two space, and we're going to work two double crochet. There's one. two, we're going to chain two, one, two, yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain two space, and we're going to work two more double crochet. There's one, yarn over, insert into that same space, and work the second double crochet. Again, you work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, into that chain two space. Now we're going to chain one. You're going to come down between this current shell and this next shell here. Insert your hook right between those two shells and slip stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that space, and pull it through the loop on your hook. You're going to chain one and that is the end of the repeat. So if you need to just click back on the video and just repeat that around and I will meet you here at the end of round five and show you how to join. 
I'm over at the end of round five and this is what your snowflake dishcloth should look like at this point. So your shells are just basically on top of each other and then you have that chain one slip stitch chain one in between. So we're going to go ahead and join. We're going to come up to the top of that beginning chain three. You ended with a chain one and then you come up, count up one, two, three, insert into the top of that beginning chain three and slip stitch your work together. Round five is finished and I'll be right back to get round six started. So to start round six, we're going to slip stitch across to that beginning chain two space. So insert into that next double crochet, yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch and pull it through the loop on your hook. You're going to insert your hook into that next chain two space, yarn over, pull it through that space and pull it through the loop on your hook. We're now ready to begin round six. So Let's begin, yarn over, pull through, that's one chain, yarn over, pull through two, that's two, yarn over, pull through that loop, that's three, and this counts as our first double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same beginning chain two space, and work a double crochet. We're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to work two more double crochet all in this beginning chain two space. So yarn over, insert into that same beginning chain two space and work a double crochet. That's one. Yarn over, insert into that same space and work a second double crochet. Now we're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to slip stitch right down in the slip stitch that we made previously. You're going to skip the rest of that shell, you're going to skip that chain one space, and you're going to insert your hook right in the top of that slip stitch between those two shells. So insert your hook into that slip stitch and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that slip stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook you're going to chain two. And now we're going to start our repeat. Basically we're doing the same thing we did in the last round, only we're chaining two instead of one and we're slip stitching into that stitch right between those two shell stitches. So let's do it one or two more times. We're going to start the repeat here, so if you need to click back on the video, this is where you would click back to. So again, we're going to start with two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet into that next chain two space. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next chain two space, and work a double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain two space, work a double crochet, that's two. You're going to chain two, and then we're going to work two more double crochet all into the same chain two space. Yarn over, insert into that same chain two space, and work a double crochet. Yarn over, insert into that same chain two space, and work a double crochet. Your shell stitch is made. It consists of two double crochet chain two, two double crochet all into that chain two space. Now we're going to chain two, one, two. You're going to skip the rest of that shell. You're going to skip this chain one space and you're going to insert your hook into that next slip stitch between those two shells. So insert your hook into that slip stitch, yarn over, pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook you're going to chain two. And that is the end of your repeat. So let me show you just one more time. We're going to yarn over and we're going to work two double crochet into this next chain two space. There's one. 
yarn over, insert into that chain two space, work your second double crochet, you're going to chain two, and then we're going to work two more double crochet into this chain two space, yarn over, insert into that same chain two space, there's one double crochet, yarn over, insert into that same space, and work your second double crochet. Again, your shell stitch is made, it's two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and it's right on top of the other shell below. You're going to chain two, one, two, you're going to skip the rest of that shell stitch below, you're going to skip that next chain one space, and you're going to insert into that slip stitch between those two shells and slip stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull through that slip stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. That's the end of your repeat, so go ahead and repeat that around round six. I will meet you at the end of round six and show you how to join. I'm over at the end of round six and this is what your work should look like. So we're going to get ready and slip stitch our work together and then we're going to work round seven which is our final round and it will make the effects of the snowflake. So let me zoom up just a little. We're going to count up to the top of this beginning chain three so count up one, two, three, insert your hook into the top of that third chain, and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. You just slip stitched round six together. So now we're going to jump right into our last and final round, round seven, and we're going to start with a chain one. Our repeat begins immediately. We're going to single crochet into this first double crochet stitch where we joined. So you'll see that little space right there. Just insert your hook into the top of that stitch and work a single crochet. And again, this is the start of our repeat. We're going to insert into that next double crochet and we're going to single crochet. We're going to single crochet in the next chain two space. So here's our next chain two space. Insert your hook and work a single crochet. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to come down and slip stitch right through the top front loop and right through the side of that last single crochet made, yarn over and pull through all three loops. It just forms that little loop here. Now we're going to single crochet into the same chain two space, so insert your hook into that same chain two space and work a single crochet. We're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, and we're going to slip stitch in that last single crochet made. We're going to come down and go into the front loop of that last single crochet we made and right through the side of that stitch. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook and that creates a bigger loop. Now we're going to single crochet in this same chain two space. So single crochet into that same chain two space. You're going to chain three, one, two, three. You're going to come down and slip stitch in the front loop and the side of that last single crochet we just made. I have a little bit of glare today for some reason, so insert and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. And that creates your little point of your snowflake. 
So now we're going to single crochet in each of these next two double crochet stitches, insert into that next double crochet, and work a single crochet. Insert into that next double crochet and work a single crochet. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each of these next two chain two spaces. Insert into that next chain two space and work a single crochet. Insert into that next chain two space and work a single crochet. We're going to single crochet in each of the next two double crochet of that next shell stitch. Insert into that first double crochet and work a single crochet. Insert into that next double crochet and work a single crochet. Now we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, all in this next chain two space of this current shell. Insert your hook into that chain two space and work a single crochet. You're going to chain two, one, two. Insert into that same chain two space and work a single crochet. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next two double crochet of the same shell stitch. Insert into that next double crochet and work a single crochet. Insert into that next double crochet and work a single crochet. We're going to work one single crochet in each of these next two chain two spaces. Insert into that chain two space and work a single crochet. Insert into the next chain two space and work a single crochet. Our repeat is finished and you can see that our little chain three loop, chain five loop, chain three loop, that is what forms kind of the snowflake effect. And then we're working a single crochet down, back up. We just work plain single crochet into that next shell and then work back down. So that's our repeat. I'll show you one more time and work right with you one more time for the repeat. So we're going to go ahead and single crochet in each of these next two double crochet. Insert into that next double crochet and work a single crochet. Insert into that next double crochet and work a single crochet. Now we're getting ready to form our snowflake effect here with the chain three, chain five, and chain three loop. So we're going to single crochet into this next chain two space. So insert your hook and single crochet. You're going to chain three, one, two, three. You're going to come back down into the front loop of that last single crochet made, and then you're going to go into that strand of yarn on the side of the stitch, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook. We're going to single crochet back into that chain two space, and we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. You're going to come back down and go into that front loop of that last single crochet made and you're going to go into the side of that stitch. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You're going to single crochet into that same chain two space. We're going to chain three, one, two, three. We're coming back down and we're going to slip stitch into the front loop and that side strand of yarn in that same stitch. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So our little snowflake effect is done. We have the chain three, the chain five, and the chain three loop. Now we're going to work 
down and in each one of these next two double crochet of that same shell and we're going to work one single crochet in each one of those stitches. Insert your hook into that next double crochet and work a single crochet. Insert into that next stitch and work a single crochet. We're over to our chain two spaces so now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next two chain two spaces. Insert into that chain two space and work a single crochet. Insert into that next chain two space and work a single crochet. We're going to work one single crochet in each of those next two double crochet stitches. Insert into that next double crochet and work a single crochet. Insert into that next double crochet and work a single crochet. We're over to the chain two space of that shell. So we're going to insert our hook and work one single crochet, chain two, and one single crochet in the chain two space in the center of that shell. So insert your hook and work a single crochet. You're going to chain two. Insert your hook into that same chain 2 space and work a single crochet. So now we're going to work a single crochet in each of those two double crochet of that same shell stitch. So insert into that next double crochet and work a single crochet. Insert into that next double crochet and work a single crochet. We're over to our chain two spaces again that's between those shell stitches and we're going to work one single crochet in each one of these chain two spaces. Insert into that next chain two space and work a single crochet. Insert into that next chain two space and work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat and you can see that we made one snowflake effect in the one shell and the other shall remain plain with just single crochet. So go ahead and click back on the video, repeat your repeat from this point here in the first double crochet, just click back on that video and start here and work around to this point and I will meet you at the end of round seven and show you how to join. I'm over at the end of round seven and you should have ended with a single crochet into that ending chain two space and we're just going to join with the slip stitch into the top of that beginning single crochet. Insert your hook right into the top of that single crochet and slip stitch yarn over, pull through and pull through the loop on your hook. I'm going to go ahead and fasten off and I'll lay it out and we'll see our finished snowflake. And I just take a yarn needle and I'll weave this into the back of my stitches down through the stitches. So always weave those ends in on the back of your work. So let me lay this out. Zoom out. And this is what your snowflake dishcloth looks like. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This again is pattern number... 518. It's the Snowflake Dishcloth. This pattern is available on my website creativegrandma.net and I'll also have a link for the kit and the pattern in the description box. So thank you everyone for stopping by and having fun making this Snowflake Dishcloth. This is approximately 10 inches in diameter from across point to point. So it's a nice size. It's great for craft shows. If you're doing the holiday craft shows, it's a wonderful, something a little different than those ordinary knitted dishcloths. So give it a try. Uh, I think you're going to love this pattern. It works up pretty quickly. It's only seven rounds long. And again, this pattern and all the links are available in the description box under this video. Thanks again, everybody, for stopping by. Please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, so you don't miss out on any of the crochet fun, the crochet patterns, the stitch of the week, or any of the crochet giveaways. Happy crocheting, everyone!